Hey there, welcome to another Tableau video. I'm actually going to show you how to publish your information online. So why would you want to do that, first of all? Okay, let's go through a simple example. I'm going to divide this. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get rid of that, and we're going to do the drawing tool again. Okay, so let's divide this up. Traditionally, if we're doing Excel, okay, versus Tableau, here's how it works. Excel, you do your analysis, right? Then you email, right? Email it out. And you have to email it to like heaps of people, okay? Version control is a pain, okay? Also, they're going to have to, uh, what's the word? They're going to have to interact with your Excel spreadsheet. And if you have multiple versions going out, who knows what happens to it? So there's no control. There's no permission setting. There's no security. And also, you can't really guide, you know, 10 or 20 different people to do different things, right? Because your Excel can usually only do one thing unless you have multiple sheets. But then, again, it gets super messy. Errors can happen. It's just not a great way of sharing data, in my opinion, okay? You can put it on, like, a SharePoint site, and everyone works off the same one. Then you got multi-users and all that kind of stuff, right? With Tableau, the way it works, oh, and also you have to physically email this. Yeah, you have to set up your email. You have to add all those people. In Tableau, what happens is you got your desktop, right? Let's do a different color here. Let's do, uh, let's do purple. All right, you got your desktop, right, that we design with, and then you publish it to the cloud. Okay, that's my cloud. It looks like Tableau farted. <laughs> Um, so you publish it to the cloud and what happens is instead of people receiving like a file they log in whenever they want and they view it at, at the cloud so what this means is if someone goes hey what's the value or what progress are we up to no matter who it is they're gonna go to the same location they're gonna go to the same dashboard and if you're updating that dashboard every day right? It's one source of truth. You can't really get that very well with like Excel spreadsheets, right? When you're sending data out. So by having it all in one place, it's, it's a massive improvement. Uh, we've experienced that where I work. And the other thing is you can set up subscription. So what happens is, let's say you publish your data. What I do is I run my systems in the morning, in the first maybe half hour of my day. And that usually starts around eight, eight nine o'clock. And then I set a subscription for 11 o'clock. So at 11 o'clock, everyone gets a notification saying, the data is ready, here it is, go ahead and access it, do your job, right? I don't have to email people, I don't have to confirm, oh wait, which Excel spreadsheet's the latest one, because Daniel or John's got a different version to me. I don't have to do any more of that stuff. We're not wasting time on that. Instead, it's self-service. It's like a supermarket. You go in, you grab what you need, right? because it's specific to you. And also, when you have heaps of dashboard, all of them get published in one time. So I don't actually have to create multiple Excel spreadsheets, right? Like I had to in the past. I can create one dashboard with heaps of filters that can service a lot of different people at different um, levels of hierarchy, right? So the one dashboard can tell my boss we're at 80%, great. But it can tell the other analysts in the team saying, all right, this is the granular breakup of the data. Here's where we need to look, you know, there's, there's all those benefits. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to publish online. It's super, super simple. Okay, so I'm going to bring open this one. Now, I've already created a Tableau site. If you haven't done so already and you're like, you know, the pioneer in your... My moccasin just fell off my foot. Um, if you're the pioneer at your workplace, so there's not going to be a site. So you've got to create one. So once you've got your first Tableau dashboard, I'm just using Superstore here, you go to Server right? And you go publish workbook. That's it. And you're going to notice this create site button. Okay. Now, because I've already created a site, it's not going to be able to let me demonstrate creating a fresh site, but it's, it's really easy. Basically you just pick a name. That's, that's all it is really from memory. And after that, your site will be up and running. So I'll show you my one. So what I do is I connect, right? I connect to my site which is managed by Tableau. You can get a Tableau server, which is managed in-house. So you can bring all the all the, the server onto your premises. So I'm just gonna log in here. And the password is Tableau is my baby. Oh wait, I, I actually, baby is only one E. Um, okay, sign in, all right? 
All right, so it's going to do the authentication, all that kind of stuff, which is great. I'm, I'm the site admin, so uh, I can kind of see everything. All right, so if it's like the first time you're going to be publishing a, a data set, right, it does take a little bit longer. But once there's already something up there, the publish is really quick. Like I have one which has, I think, 20 dashboards, and that can publish within two or three minutes, right? So... After that, it's pretty quick. Uh, eventually, you'll get Tableau Server, and then it's all kind of scheduled. So you don't even have to do this part. It just does it itself. But we're not up to that, so I don't really know how to do it. OK, so the first thing you want to do is um, pick what project it's in. And let me show you what this actually means. So um, if I open up, uh, let's open up a new window. I'll show you what projects and all that kind of stuff mean. So if I go uh, Tableau Online. And if I'm like a, a user, like pretend I'm my manager, this is how I would go into Tableau online. Okay, so this one's actually already logged me in. So I'm going to log out and show you guys quickly how to do it. So let's log out. All right. So basically, you just go Tableau online login, and there's a link. That's the easiest way, right? And so you log in. All right, do its thing. Okay, and that's going to log in for me. Now, this is actually the beta view, which I prefer, right? And these are all our dashboards. I'm going to go into Explore and Explore groups that by department that we have. Okay, so. I'm going to go, hang on, sorry to flick around. I'm just going to put it in list so you can see a bit better, right? The first one is project. So as you can see, this one matches up to this one. And then the second part is you just name your dashboard. So in this case, I'm calling it Superstore, and then it just saves it in there. It's a good idea to put a description in there for data governance so that we know what, the, what it is. So we can say, this is my Superstore sales etc right um, tags you can add tags so that when people search okay you can pick which dashboards and which sheets you, if you've hidden a sheet at the bottom it won't appear here so if it's something you want to publish then go ahead and do that but I rarely publish sheets I always publish dashboards or stories okay now if you want just dashboards you can click on this button okay uh, if you want none of them if you want all of them okay but I just want dashboards so I'm gonna go ahead and click that um, permissions don't really touch that data sources just whatever it's connected to right and then show sheets as tabs which I'll show you once we get to the page and then I hit publish okay now if there's already one I've published previously it's gonna ask me do you want to overwrite and you just press yes okay so now it's compiling it's about to send it to the server um, so it's probably over Singapore at the moment over Japan down under the tunnels of India, um, past Russia. I'm, not, I'm an analyst. I don't know geography. All right. So then what happens is once it publishes, it will automatically open a browser for you and take you to where you've published, which is super cool because it tells me, all right, it's actually there. So this is actually my data, right? You'll notice that the dashboards that are here are now here, okay? And then everyone can access it. So the way to get to it is if I go explore, Right. Let's say I'm at my home page, Explore. I go to wherever I put the folder, right, and I look for Superstore, which is right there. So now if I come in and I see Superstore, I can see the four. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump here to the right. Okay. We're going to set it back to thumbnails, and you'll see the dashboards that we built. Right. Pretty cool. And now anyone who has a license to my site, right, can view this data and they can do whatever they need to do. Okay, so let's say I go to the, let's go to the first one. They can view this. All right, it's going to open it up. Now, from my previous experience, having Tableau server, so on-site cloud technology, I guess if you call it, versus cloud technology with Tableau, there is a slight performance difference, but it's barely noticeable in my opinion. Okay, so now they can view this wherever they want. If they have a mobile device, they have a tablet, Basically, anywhere they are, they have access to the data, which is just 
that's just extraordinary. Like, I mean, if you think 10 years ago, that's not possible. That kind of stuff. Well, maybe like for the military, but for regular people, small businesses, I mean, this stuff is just so revolutionary in what it can do that I could be at a coffee shop. I could be in the factory. I could be on the on the floor looking at issues. I could be sending data to anyone across the world. Like I could have, I had managers. I, I'm in Australia. I had managers going overseas to Japan and they had access to this information. Like you literally have all your data with you. And if it's not available, like on the cloud and you need something new, it's as simple as, you know, you call up your analyst or you send an email. Listen, can you analyze this, this, and this, whatever? They build, they publish, you have it at your fingertips. I mean, that is just, it's just ridiculous, right? So before we end, I'm going to show you a few features of Tableau Online, which are super cool, all right? And I'm probably only going to show you subscribe and comments, right? So subscribe, if I click up here, okay, it actually sends me an email notification at a scheduled time. So I'm going to pick, for example, myself, let's say, okay, let's say I pick myself and I'm going to go this view or the entire workbook I want to see, All right, we'll just go this view because I just want to see this. Um, you can set the schedule of how often you can have it daily, you can have it weekly, I think you can have it monthly, where is it, monthly, right, you can have it hourly if your data refreshes that often, right, you can set a time. And so with my one, it's Monday through Friday, 11 o'clock, and all my managers get it at that time. So no one's asking me, no one's pestering me, no one's going, hey, where's the data? They know, 11 o'clock, they got the data, okay? Then, what else? Then you go subscribe. Now, the cool thing about this is you can subscribe your team. So let's say I'm doing work for another department, and we're doing the initial consult consultation of designing dashboards. He, he could be like, oh, I'm really happy with this. I want the rest of my team to see it. He can just add his team in here one by one, or he can add them as a group if he's created a group. Um, and then they will get the data whenever they need to. So it's really increases your efficiency as an analyst or as a developer. Okay, so that's the first one. The other thing I want to show you is comments. And we love this at Toyota. My God, we use this so much. And the way uh, comments works is you can get someone, you can mention someone to bring them here. So for example, let's say I'm working with a colleague of mine named Alex, right? And I go, uh, you know, uh, there's something going on in, let's say, Central, okay, that I want Alex to look at, right? So I'm at my computer, pretend I'm at my computer, and I want to look at the profit ratios where they're really, really low, okay? These are major issues that Alex needs to look at. He needs to know about this, right? But we don't email, baby. Emails, that's for chumps, bruh. So what we do is I go at, right? And I pick Alex from this list, right? So I'm just going to pick this dude, right? And I can go, hey, check these results out. Something is off, right? In addition to that, because I've applied filters, I, want, I don't want him to have to reapply the filters. So I can click this button at the bottom. And it takes a snapshot of what I've done. And when I go post, he'll get an email showing exactly this in a nice pretty email he clicks on it it takes him here it applies the filters and he can see exactly what i'm looking at so collaboration wise it's amazing right we have increased our communication so much because everyone is talking the same data there's no more confusion well there's confusions every now and then but like we've eliminated so much confusion or back and forth trying to figure out exactly what the correct results are. It's all in one place, right? So those are just, that's just the surface of what online can do, right? So I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions, please don't forget to comment. Please subscribe, send me some likes, or let me know if you want me to teach anything else. So I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.